as this deadly virus emerged from eastern China and began to spread inexorably across the globe, clearly headed here, leaders in New York not only failed to shield their citizens from it, they took affirmative and aggressive steps to increase the risk to their population. Why would they do that? Well, because they were worried far more about being called racist than protecting human lives. That's not an overstatement. That's not hyperbole. Watch the city's health commissioner, Osiris Barbett, urge New Yorkers to spend as much time as possible in crowded public places. Keep in mind, this video was from February 2nd of this year. That was long after the threat from the Chinese coronavirus was obvious to anyone who was paying attention. The risk to New Yorkers for coronavirus is low and that our preparedness as a city is very high. There is no reason not to take the subway, not to take the bus, not to go out to your favorite restaurant, and certainly not to miss the parade next Sunday. I'm going to be there. Take the subway, go to dinner, people cheer. They feel good about themselves. Future generations, though, are going to watch that video with their jaws open in disbelief. How could someone charged with protecting public health so recklessly endanger it?